Hey guys, so as you guys probably know by now, my fishing tournament from Lake Holt just got deleted. I'm not really sure why. I mean, I had Bass Pro Shop in there, so I'm, that might be like some sponsorship issues. But I'm kind of annoyed about that. I really have no clue why it got deleted when I put a lot of time into that video. But today I'm going to shoot another video. It is Monday right now. And I'm going to go out to Jordan Lake and try to get catch some nice bass with a good friend of mine who fishes a lot. And right now it's pretty early. It's 5.15. And we're going to try to get an early start on these fish. And I'll see how it goes. I'll get back to you guys a little later. I'll give you a quick rundown of what we're doing today. So we're going to Lake Jordan and we're going to be targeting largemouth bass. And we're probably going to be going along the north shoreline, maybe down to the west shoreline. Just around there, we're going to just try to look for structure. Most of this water, I have never fished before. I've actually only caught one bass in Jordan Lake. It was a four-pounder, though, so that was that gave me a lot of hope for the lake. But it's it's a great lake, great lake. And I'll just see how I can, see how I can do, try to get some bedding fish, maybe. And... I'll see you guys probably when we're leaving. Alright guys, so we are out on the water and it's a beautiful day. The water's a little choppy out in the main area, so we're just going to stay kind of away from that. So right now I'm just going to fish this bank area and we'll just see what we can do. Hopefully we can pull in some biggins and I'll get back to you guys when we catch our first fish. Peace. All right, guys, so first fish of the day. It's a pretty good sized bass, probably about four or five pounds. Skinny one, but still a beautiful fish nonetheless. So let's get a release on her. All right, back? guys. Will you come back for me? I will come back. Or just maybe hold on to the tree? Of course. All right, guys, so Jim has his lure stuck in the tree right above me. Not sure if you guys can see that. It's a little lizard. Oh, God. Okay, that may be all, all right. I need to do. Sweet. So we got the lure out. You can just, like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll get it. Wow, it was really in there. All right, guys. All right, so we got it out, dude. And there's Jim. Did a good All right, job. guys, so we only caught that one bass and then one other small fish that I didn't get on camera. So now we're probably going to get the get the trailer down and go to a different pond, maybe. So it's going to be a lot of fun. See you guys a little later. All right, guys, so the first fish of the day, not what we were after, but, I mean, it still is a, quite a big brim. Get a release on her, and we'll throw her back. Right, so first bass of the day, let's get a release. All right, guys, so this decent-sized bass. It's pretty small but I mean it's still a bass on the left look at him he choked my worm so we got a release on her real quick and let's see all right guys just got one more fish just gonna unhook him real quick sorry about the filming got him unhooked oops sorry and let's get a release all right guys so here is the final time we are going back. It's been a great day of fishing. I've been on the water for about eight hours, fished two different bodies of water. Got about a good amount of fish, not as many as I was hoping. I was hoping here we'd catch a bunch more, but I still got a, quite a few. And we're just gonna go back, just gonna go chill with some friends now, you know. And I guess that's all, so that'll probably close this video up. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and that's all.